How can you tell if you're looking at a right or a left humerus? Well, this can be a little bit tricky. So sometimes what students like to do is they look at the head of the humerus and they say, okay, well, if the head is facing medial, I know that it must be a right or a left humerus. But what do I have right here? I could face these either way and I could say, well, the head's facing this way or the head's facing that way. It's really not gonna be that helpful. I'm obviously looking at right now, what should look pretty symmetrical. This is sort of a mirror view of one another. So let's break this down for a moment. When we look at the head of the humerus, we know that the head is gonna face medial. And the reason we know that is because you'll remember the scapula. Spine of the scapula, that was on the posterior side, right along here. If you don't see the spine, remember you're looking at the subscapular fossa. The glenoid cavity was this structure right here, and that's where you're going to see the head of the humerus articulate. That's what you're looking at right here. That's your shoulder joint. Now, if I take this, again, this is a right scapula. That stands to reason this is a right humerus that I'm holding. Okay, trust me, it is. But what do I notice? Greater tubercle, lesser tubercle. Remember this structure right in between where I have my pointer right now? This is the intertubricular groove. The intertubricular groove is on the anterior side. If I hold it here and I turn this around, you don't see the intertubricular groove. You're now looking at the posterior side. Back to the anterior side. The intertubricular groove is also called the bicipital groove. When you hear the bicipital groove, you might think of the biceps brachii muscle. That's the muscle on the anterior side of your arm. When someone asks you to flex your muscles, right? You put your arms up and you show them what you got, all right? That's this right here. That's the muscle that sits on the anterior side of your arm. And that muscle, the biceps brachii muscle, runs right through this bicipital groove or intertubricular groove. If you see this, you know you're looking at the anterior side. From there, you can say, okay, my scapula is going to be here. Or if I look at a left humerus, again, here's intertubricular groove. I know I'm looking at the anterior side. That means this is medial. You can't just say the head's face medial. That doesn't work. I can make, them, I can make the head's face medial either way. But you have to have the head's facing medial with the intertubricular groove intertubricular groove being on the anterior side. If you see that, then you know you're looking at the front. Then you can determine pretty easily right or left.